From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. As you can see, myself and John are here for a little bit of War Machine. So, uh -huh. what have we got? We have the Hand of Judgment for Menoff. Ah, Fiora's character, Warjack. Mm -hmm. It's. I'm going to say this now, this thing is for crowd control. Be very aware of this, because okay. its rules really, really suit it for taking down big chunks of infantry if your opponent is silly enough not to spread them out. Yeah. So who would not be who would be silly enough to not spread them out? Well, okay, better... I'll, I'll, I, I'll pose a better question. All right. What sort of army would this really suit fighting against like what is the sort of more mass infantry type well you see if you get someone that's running the covenant duel list for kedar where they have tons of winter guard yeah you know sometimes on the battlefield they will just get clogged up that's mm -hmm. when you want this thing to roll in fire its flame cannon yeah because when it boxes which means kills a one wound infantry mm -hmm. that infantry blows up and everybody within an inch of them gets set on fire oh i now i see what you mean by crowd control so you can if you kill one guy you've affected Pretty yeah. much the rest of the unit. Yeah, the other thing is, anyone that, w that is within five inches of this thing, when it's doing a fire damage roll, adds plus two to it. All right. So y there is some nasty stuff to happen with this thing. And to think I decided I wanted to go Kador or... Um, See, you know, you've tried Menos before. I've tried a couple of times. What always was my stumbling block was the painting. Yeah. Well, but I mean, like, what was it? Was it the, the white on it? It was the white, and it was trying to get that, like... Um, well, if you give me the box, we'll, we'll show off the paint scheme for this guy hmm. on the close camera. It's a beautiful paint scheme. It's I, a beautiful I, paint scheme. It's I, more I, red than white on this. Yeah, yeah, I've always liked the Menos scheme. Mm. But my problem has been getting, getting that sort of off-white colour correct and yeah. getting that red correct, because mm. if you do, like, a normal flat red, it looks terrible. Yeah, where if, it, it, this is it's like a... A burgundy old bros mix. Yeah, yeah, sort of like that. So, it's yeah. that's where I've struggled with it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. you know, thanks to Warren and the parts of the painted series, like I'm sort of a little bit more experienced with sort of higher contrast models. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, one. start giving me components. Yes, I shall. Shoulder pads first. All right. These are beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. Yeah, if I can find the close camera to show them. Well done. There oh. you go. There we go. So they've got the, the Menos symbol, they've mm -hmm. got tons of detailing and schoolwork in and around it. I think this would take a glow effect really well, John, what do you think? Um, maybe. Although I would reserve the glow effects for the actual flame details and the, the see, visor of the helmet. What I'd like to do is, you see the, the men effects? Mm -hmm. Do that as if it's on fire, just with a little flame glow coming out of it. I'd maybe be very cool. I'd maybe do the glow around where the shield is, rather than on the cross. Mm. You know, you know, have it shining out from behind. Aye. The actual symbol might be an idea. It, it would be an interesting project to try. Well, yeah. All right, next component. Uh, body. Main body. Uh, so, again, tons of detail on this. You've Lots got your of detail. smokestacks around the back with its boiler, mm -hmm. because we are in a steampunk universe, mm -hmm. so everything has to have a boiler of some sort. Okay, next component. Uh, I'll give you both the arms. Yeah. So, we've got its melee weapon, which is a nice big spiky mace, which... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a sensor. Yeah, it has all. It has that sort of feel to it. Mm. See, even on the the box art, you can see a lot of flame and glow. Yeah, effect that's coming called out from the it. the flame of truth. Yeah. So, okay. Nice. Right. And then we have the the other weapon, the ranged weapon, yes. which is the immolator cannon. This thing does some nasty, nasty things because mm -hmm. it does fire continuous effect and fire type damage, whereas the flame of truth does fire critical damage, but it has reach. Mm. Which is always nice. So it's giving you that nice big two-inch melee bubble. Mm -hmm. And move these out the way. Honestly, I think these are probably the best components in the box. All right. These are the banners. Ah, yes. I think these are the the finest components in this kit. Yeah. So we've got two big banners. They're identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, this is where you would probably have a look at it and go, you know what? If I paint this with that nice white, the metal for the the actual men mm -hmm. and then go, oh wait. I'm painting white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they are absolutely beautiful. Again, uh, is this uh, flames actually, up I, top? Yeah, it seems to be flames on the box it is, yeah. So you're going to have to paint fire on top of this, John. Uh-huh. Or would you take another stab at painting men off? 
Or do you want to go Kedar? I, I would try uh, another stab at Menoth, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah. Right, we now have a rake of metal parts. Yeah, so hybrid kit, be yeah. warned. Hybrid kit, as a fair amount of them still are. So Yeah, well, while, while you get those out, I'm going to have a quick look at the stat line here and mm -hmm. give it a rundown. So speed 5, good. Strength 11, very good. Mat 7, ridiculously good. Rat 5 is average, but whenever you're in Fiora's control area, you get a boosted attack roll for free. Yeah. So it's very useful. Uh, you've then got Defense of 10, which is standard, and Armor of 19, which is standard. Are you trying to be funny? No. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, <laughs> what we have here. So we've got his head, mm -hmm. which has that, that really nice Paladin's helmet feel to it. Yes, and that is crying for a nice glow effect in there. Just coming out from the visor? Mm-hmm, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yep. We've then got the... I think that's the hip joint. Yeah, that's the hip joint, because the legs go on there and there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've then got tons of these banners. These are a little bit straight. Would you maybe give a little bit of a bend to these, John? Uh, possibly bend them a little bit, but not too much, because they they mm -hmm. do sort of hang down off the, the shoulders of the model. Mm -hmm. Plus, they have that weighted bit on the end, so it feels like it should hang a lot aye, more straight. And... Oh, right, so I'm holding this upside down. Yes, you are. So that's that's the bottom of it, yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense to me now, mm -hmm. that they hang straight because there is a big lump of metal on the end. Yep. We've got his little loincloth. Yep. And two smaller banners yep. here and here. They, I believe they're for the front. Yep. And both legs. Both legs. Yep. And there's there's just scroll work everywhere on this. It is quite intricate. I have, I'm yep. kind of surprised by that. And then we have the two smokestacks. Which are a very cool shape. Yeah. They're kind of like Old school brazers. Yep. And then you have this, which I believe is the cover for your boiler, because it's got little uh, clocks and stuff on it. Yep. And is that everything? That is everything, bar the standard base as always. Yeah, we don't care about the base anymore. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, guys, uh, myself and John will move on. We'll get this built and we will come back, chat a little bit more about the rules and show you the finished mini. Keep your blaster handy. The West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. Okay, we're back and we have the Hand of Judgment built. Yes. How, how was the build? Oh, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I have learned over the years to start with the legs and work your way up. Right. Uh, so you have to glue the glue one foot down, glue the hip on, glue the other leg on, and then everything else just goes together easy peasy. Okay. Good kit. A bit of cleaning to do because mm. the gates are on the ball joint for the shoulders and on the top of the shoulders. I see. I like the so. fact that they do that. That it's in somewhere where even if you mess it up a little, yeah. it's, it's not really going to make a difference. No, it's not. All right. Well, let's let's have a look at the mini because mm -hmm. he is absolutely huge. He's quite big, yeah. He's yeah, quite a hefty little, thing. Yeah, I can get closer. It goes together really nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the design once he's actually built, and he's really menacing, just in that low hunch position. Yeah, it's it's got sort of a look of almost like a Kador Jack, like a very sort of forward look mm. to it. Obviously, not just as pronounced, but you know, quite similar. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, what can you really say? He's Beautiful kit. It is a lovely kit, yeah, and um, it should be a good challenge to anyone out there that wants to paint it. Yeah, and for actual gameplay, there is one thing I forgot to mention. Go on. Uh, if this guy charges someone who's suffering continuous fire, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to spend focus or be forced. Because it's already on fire? Yeah, because it's on fire, he's just going, right, I'm going in. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's a very nice touch. The other mm -hmm. thing is, for Fiora, he, she can take him mm -hmm. in her themed list yeah. because she, he's a special issue. Yeah, he's a character jack for her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the one thing I also forgot to mention, the actual cannon is actually a spray 8. Mm -hmm. So it's a template weapon, which is lovely. Yep. And it's also a power 14, which is nasty. That is. Especially on a spray weapon. Uh, power and strength of his weapon is actually 18. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be tearing chunks of, out of other jacks really, really easily. Yep. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's the Hand of Judgment. Uh, I'll give it one quick last look under the close camera, just because it's a very short second half. If you yeah. just quickly spin them under it. Uh, like you said, John, great detail, great yep. for painting, definitely. and definitely one day have a look at, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, well, guys, drop us a comment below. We'll see you in the next video. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. 
Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com.